me it's about our desperate desire to improve the lives of both big people and little people. I really believe in making a difference to adults as well as children. I always wanted every child in my school to feel that we absolutely had their back. They were one whole that we could support in the future. There is a clarity in our four strategic plan strands to give us focus, although there is an interconnectivity. However, for me, the strand that goes all the way through this is diversity, equity and inclusion. Everything really stems out of that. Equitable Opportunities isn't about every child, adult, member of staff having the same. We all have different needs, we all have different strengths, we all have different areas that we need to strengthen. Equity is considering all needs and ensuring that we approach um, all needs on an individual unique basis. So whereas equality is putting in place um, resources that uh, are the same for everybody. So for us, equity is the driver and the priority because actually we recognise that our pupils and families are unique and therefore their needs will be somewhat different. So in order for them to access their education and ex access our schools, uh, we need to ensure that we're equitable. Within our Equitable Futures objective, I've really see the importance of the social care development and the family first approach. We bring in and consider the whole family rather than just um, looking at it from a single child accessing our school or a sibling group accessing our school. By offering the kind of families first approach, what we're saying is we recognise the importance and values of healthy family life the impact that families have on a child's education and the impacts that families have on a school's educational journey as well. We work with them, we welcome them in and we say let's work together and you know if there is support that needs to be accessed we will, we will help. It's really really important that families feel as much a part of the trust as our children feel. There's a real focus on SEND there's a real focus on safeguarding to ensure that we're providing those safe opportunities. People being safe, children being safe, big little people being safe has got to be fundamental. No one can be learning if they're not safe. Safe in our emotional state. So we are able to embrace the opportunities around. One of the key drivers is that we will work extensively with our external partners um, from social care, health, um, community partners, other schools in the local area. So the, the big drive here is that we are reaching out and working collaboratively. That in turn will support our children not only in our school, so it's all about that right help, right place, right time. So part of that is having those relationships and forming those relationships with our external agency so that we can ensure that that occurs and stop the kind of crisis and reactive safeguarding and really kind of implement that preventative safeguarding. We think as a school that we, we are the people with the relationships so we need to solve the problems. We also need to be able to signpost and work with different um, organisations that can be part of that bubble for that family. And I think it's really, really important that we, we put the family first. It's a priority for us um, to ensure that there is positive well-being for all of our pupils. Ensuring that well-being is a focus within the curriculum, that it's a focus around our schools, and that children feel there are places to talk about how they are feeling within school. We want to prioritise staff well-being and mental health to ensure that actually our staff are happy. It's kind of ensuring that we've got a happy workplace environment, which in turn means happy children, happy staff, happy families. The people around us are our biggest resource. We can support each other better if we acknowledge and know 
how people are feeling and that, that real truthfulness. Um, and it's going to be a journey. I think it could become a little bit difficult at times where we open some of these um, areas up, but we've got to talk about it. If we talk about it, knowledge is power. We can then do something about it and we can maybe break down some barriers so that we can be really a true functioning family.